Hello, my name is Brandon and I work here with the Albuquerque Public Libraries. It's a ukulele. It's very Hawaiianish and very cool to play with. It has four strings to it. So we got your ukulele body here. You got your sound hole. Got your ukulele neck along with the frets, known as a fretboard. Got your ukulele head along with the tuning pegs to tune your strings for the ukulele. And that's really one of the first things I want to show you is how to tune. So when you get one of these, you want to make sure your ukulele is tuned. You can tune it with using one of the tuners here. And you can also download it off of your smart device. And you go to the store, iTunes, whatnot. And they're usually free to download. So with the four strings, the string here is going to be the G string. Moving forward, it's going to be your C, E, and A. You use the tuning pegs to tune it, tighten it, or loosen it. But these are the notes you want to have. G, C, E, A. So when you, when you play it, it sounds a little more Hawaiian-ish. So I'm right-handed, so I do all my uh, chords and fretting with my left hand. <clears throat> For playing with my chords, I have my fingers numbered here. So I have one, two, three, and four. And going through these chord diagrams, they look a little like this. So this is going to be your C chord, and it says to have using your third finger to put it on that third fret. That little green circle there tells you to put the fret number. So it has on the third space here. So moving down, one, two, three. And it has a number three on there, so you want to use your third finger. The open notes are the, the little zeros on the strings that don't have any circles on here represent to be played open. So that's going to be your C. So moving forward, the next chord I want to show is going to be the G7. And again, placing with your, chord, uh, your finger placements, you want your third, your, you want your ring finger on the second fret, your index on the first, and also your middle on the second fret. And this last string is going to be open as well too. And use the chord diagram to uh, get a clear idea of finger placement. When you play, that's going to be your G7. So you have your C and G7. So when you start strumming, you can just use down strokes if you want. And then also you can use up strokes too as well. You put them together. thing is, I want to take your time uh, transitioning between that C and then that G7. Start it off slow. Just make sure you get the position, the, your finger positioning okay. Once you get uh, comfortable with it, then you can speed up the transition if you want. And the strumming as well too, whatever feels comfortable for you. But again, take it slow. Go at your own pace. Moving along is also reading tablature. Tablature is almost similar to reading chord diagrams, except the numbers are going to be on the actual strings, and whichever number appears on the string is where you want to play the fret position at. So the tablature reads from left to right, so like you're reading a book. <laughs> so like you're reading a book. So if there's a, a zero on the string, it means just to play the string open by itself. So this diagram here has two zeros uh, back to back, so you want to play them one after the other. And when it has a number, again, on the next string up, so on the, on the C string, there's a f uh, the number four on there. It wants you to play on that fourth fret on that string. So open, open, four, might be a little simple with that. Moving forward, 
getting more strings involved, this diagram tells you to play on the third fret off of the E string. So you have your third, again, left to right, so three, three, and then moving the string down, five, two, open. Again, play at your own pace. Don't take it too fast if it's too hard. You can take it slow. You get little, when you get comfortable with it, you can speed it up if you like. So putting it together, you can play that first tap I showed you, the zero, zero, four, zero. Once you get into that, you can transition into those chords. So going from Hope that helps. Again, very beginning, just take it slow, go at your own pace, so try to break this little guy on the first try. Have fun with it and hope to see you at the next video.